Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can assign a static IP address on your Windows 10 operating system. Now, I'm assuming that you are already on a network and you are having on your Windows operating system a dynamic IP address which you want to change it to a static IP address. So, let's get started. So, first of all, what you can do is you can go to the search bar and then search for a CMD and just open the command prompt from here and once the command prompt opens you just need to write IP config here so IP config and then space and then just give this forward slash all okay so IP config forward slash all and then press enter and it's going to give you this kind of output so you just need to go here where it says IPv4 address and right now this is your uh, dynamically assigned IP address. Now this is the subnet mask and you have bunch of information about your uh, uh, Ethernet adopter. So we are going to use this information when we are going to change our IP address to the static IP address. Now once this uh, information is visible on your command prompt, the next step is to open the control panel. So just go to your uh, search bar once again and then just write uh, control panel and then uh, just open the first result which says control panel. And once the control panel opens, you just need to click on network and internet and then click on network and sharing center and then you are going to see this kind of window now right now i'm connected to the ethernet uh, cable that's why i can see ethernet if you are connected to a wi-fi network then you will see the name of your wi-fi network here so whatever uh, you see in front of connections here you just need to click on that uh, link and once you click on that link, you will see uh, this kind of window. Now, once this uh, window opens, what you need to do is you just need to click on the properties option here. So just click on properties. And once the properties window opens, just choose the option which says internet protocol version four. So just double click on it and it's going to open this kind of window here. Now, in order to uh, assign a static IP, you just need to choose the second option which says use the following IP address. By default, you might be having this option uh, checked which is obtain the IP address automatically. So, we are going to choose uh, this uh, option which says use the following IP address. And now, we are going to uh, give the static IP address here. So now once again go to your command prompt and see uh, the IPv4 address and right now uh, the dynamically assigned address is 192.168.1.7 on my machine. So what we are going to do is the first three uh, digits we are going to take as same. So 192.168.1 we are going to take as it is and the last digit here we are going to change and assign it to a static uh, number so i'm going to just go to the properties window once again and here i'm going to just write uh, in the ip address section 192.168.1 if in your case here you see zero then you need to write zero there okay so in my case, I can see the third digit here is one. That's why I'm writing one here. Otherwise, you need to write zero here if you see zero in the uh, IPv4 address. And then my trick is I always assign a number which is big enough so that your network, if it assigns the uh, IP address dynamically to different devices, this big number might not reach uh, when it assigns it uh, the IP address uh, dynamically. Okay, so I choose generally 200 or 201 uh, or 2. So it's unlikely that this IP address is assigned dynamically on your network to a particular device. 
So now the second is the subnet mask. So when you uh, just click on the subnet mask uh, box here, it will be assigned automatically, which will match uh, this address also. So to for so you can see subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 which is uh, shown here also now the third option is the default gateway so you can see my default gateway is this one whatever you see here in front of default gateway you just need to uh, copy this uh, ip address and then just uh, paste it there so 192.168. 1.1 .1. this is in my case but if it's uh, different in your case you just need to copy and paste that uh, IP address there so 192.168.1.1 in my case now you can see here under use the following DNS server address you can either provide this DNS server address which is provided here in the information or otherwise what I would like to do is I would like to uh, give the Google DNS address uh, in this space here so if you don't know the DNS uh, address of Google I'm going to put the link in the description of this website where you can see the list of popular public DNS servers and you can see Google DNS server is here and then open DNS server is here this is also popular Cloudflare also uh, mostly used by many people so for now I will use this DNS uh, server as address which is 8.8.8.8 as primary and the secondary is 8.8.4.4 so let's uh, just give this address here so I'm going to just write 8.8.8.8 and then 8.8.4.4 as the alternate DNS address you can uh, also choose uh, one DNS address of uh, Google and other DNS address of another, another DNS provider. This will also work, but for now I will take the Google DNS address, right? Now you can just click on validate setting upon exit. So just check this checkbox, which is going to check whether all the settings are okay on your uh, uh, network or not and then click on OK and then OK and then it's going to detect the problems and then you will see this kind of window and if it doesn't show any uh, problem here you just can cancel that means uh, no problem is detected and your network is working fine so I'm going to just close this window and then just close this window so once you have uh, changed this uh, IP address which is the static IP address let's test whether everything is working fine or not by just going to Google and then search for anything I'm going to search for let's say dogs and if you see the result here that means your internet is working fine and your uh, static IP is also working fine so this is how you can assign a static IP address on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.